I hope everyone I'm back again so uh, just wanted to do a quick video uh, showing you the Chromecast apps available on Windows Phone uh, which was uh, requested by someone just asking me uh, how you can uh, use your Windows Phone to stream videos to your Chromecast and uh, the selection is not quite as uh, uh, many as you'd get on an Android device but you still get uh, the main things which uh, will handle uh, watching videos from your cloud storage or from uh, YouTube uh, so there's no need to you know let your Chromecast go to waste if you've got a Windows phone you might as well be using it uh, so uh, the first one that we can show you uh, is uh, something called Cloud for Chrome and uh, using this you can connect to your uh, cloud storage, OneDrive storage, uh, which is Microsoft's cloud platform. Uh, and then uh, in there, you know, if you've got some files like videos or something, uh, you can go to videos. You can see I've got one video in there just as a test for this video. Because uh, usually I do uh, like use uh, other cloud platforms, but if you do use OneDrive, uh, then you can uh, take advantage of this but uh, you can then click on uh, the top button uh, which uh, shows you your Chromecast sometimes takes a bit uh, of time to actually register that you've clicked on it so uh, it has registered though and uh, it started to come up on my TV as you can see so it's uh, ready now uh, but uh, once you've done that you can then go back to your video and then click on it and then click play on Chromecast and then it will load itself up So the picture looks quite good, as you'd expect, just the same as what you get on an Android device. Uh, you know, it's very uh, high quality and detailed, and uh, it seems to stream well as well. No issues with you know buffering and all that. So uh, that's the first one. Uh, but uh, other than that, you know, you can uh, also stream. Uh, like using that when you're not actually in the app so it's in the background kind of thing and uh, you don't have to worry about it you know stopping if you have uh, come out of it uh, but uh, other than that you can also uh, use something called TubeCast which is uh, like a YouTube uh, streaming facility uh, and that uh, will automatically detect your Chromecast, you don't even have to do anything. Uh, so uh, once it's done that, you just search for something, such as Metal Gear Solid Remix. And then click search, and that will automatically search for the latest ones. Uh, and then you can just click on one and then it will automatically kick into life on the TV
So uh, this one doesn't have too many options, to be honest. It's just basically you search for the video you want and then basically it will come up. changes to something else So just turn that down a little bit. Now those are the two free ones that I've been using on Windows Phone the most. Uh, and uh, with TubeCast uh, there is one issue in that I don't know how to actually uh, stop it once uh, it's started. Uh, other than obviously going into a, a different kind of app and then starting the Chromecast that way. So I think it still needs a bit of development work, but it's definitely a good start. Uh, and uh, other than that, you've also got something called TubeCast, uh, which uh, is a paid kind of uh, premium type of app, uh, which does basically the same as the previous one I just showed you. Uh, but has quite a few more options and it obviously looks a lot nicer uh, so uh, you can you know select uh, what video you want which uh, they automatically come up on this one uh, you can you can do a hell of a lot of different stuff actually uh, but uh, it does uh, cost obviously uh, to use so you have to pay £1.49 Personally, I've not seen a need to use it yet uh, if there's a free option available. Uh, but I do like the way you know you can customize certain things about the app, such as uh, the accent color. Uh, you can put uh, like a different style on as well. So change it. Uh, you can add a tile to the screen and customize that you can do different playback options so uh, it's definitely more full featured and uh, it's probably worth buying uh, but personally as I said I, my needs are fulfilled with the other app uh, but if you've got the money then you know definitely check it out it's uh, as you can see you can get your videos from each category uh, which is quite useful such as technology it all comes up there and uh, so yeah you know uh, another great uh, app but uh, those are the main three that I've uh, used at the moment and those are the ones which I'd recommend all the others look a bit dodgy uh, so uh, yeah uh, I hope you found the video helpful uh, and uh, I'll be back shortly with some more videos. Cheers.